Hey guys, here we and welcome back to another Hypixel API related video. This is going to be episode 2 of our Skyblock API tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at auctions and how to verify if someone's auctions have already been bid on and stuff like this, and just all sorts of information. Um, so we're going to be taking in a player and we're going to get information about the auctions that they currently have up. So what we're going to start by doing is taking a look at the documentation for this. So if you weren't aware, here I'll show you guys. Um, there is this website. If you go to api.hypixel.net, the same URL you would normally request from, um, if you just go to that uh, in a browser, you will get the, doc the documentation. So here I've just gone down to the Skyblock section and we're going to be taking a look at uh, the request auctions by the auction UID, player UID, or profile UID. So this is very simple. You go into uh, here you can see what it is. So you send a get request to this uh, endpoint. So it's going to be api.hypixel.net forward slash skyblock forward slash auction question mark. And then it needs a key. So you're going to write key is equal to and then your API key, which we'll do automatically using our API key.json file that we've already got prepared. And then it also takes either a auction UID, a player UID, or a profile UID. Now we're going to be taking a look at the player ID only today, um, but if you wish to do one of these other two, you are free to do so. All you would do is instead of putting the word player in the URL, you would put the word profile or UID, and then you would just put the corresponding UID. So if you put UID, you're going to put in an auction UID, which you can get from generating auctions, um, auction objects um, from like the auctions API or something. And then here, uh, you put, if you put profile, you would put the profile UID, which you would get from, I guess, uh, the uh, Skyblock stats endpoint. But we're not going to be taking a look at those today. We're supposed to be taking a look at player UIDs. This is the simplest that most people are going to be taking a look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer back over to the code. And we're going to start with adding in the new URL. So the new URL, very simple. It's going to be uh, here. We're going to do uh auctions player uh so we're gonna add a temporary player so this is gonna be uh example player and this example player uh player uid this example player uid is gonna be um my uid so this is i i went on one of my accounts and i set up the uid briefly uh this is the uid for that minecraft account this is the minecraft account system uh, and then auctions player, uh, uh, auctions player URL, and this is just gonna, and this is just temporary for now. We're just, we're just putting this in. So this is gonna be HTTP s like this API dot hypixel dot net slash auction or slash skyblock slash auction, I believe. Uh, what did it say? It said auction. So we're going to put auction question mark and then key is equal to and we're going to turn this into an F string. Now what F strings do is it makes it so we can put in variables directly into the string. We're going to be putting the API key in here and then we're going to do and the player. Now normally you put just UID but see it's here it's weird. Player is the player UID so we're putting player um, and then we're going to be putting in this. Okay, now that we have this URL, we want to send a request to this, but we're going to make this into a function. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new function. It's going to be def, uh, and we're going to sort of tab this out. So I'm going to triple that, and then here we're going to do a quick description for this function. So we're going to write, uh, send a get request, request to a given URL, and then this is going to be uh, uh, returns. All right, I guess we can do returns get request response from URL, and then here it's going to be returns um, auction info from play UID. Um, all right, and here so it's going we're going to call it. Uh, get auctions from player uh, and we're going to do that and it's going to take in a UUID object or not object just a UUID uh, and then we're just going to set this up 
where we're going to run uh, return get info of that UID. So we actually don't need this anymore. Uh, and now this is actually going to be the UID that we put in. And now what we should be able to do is to go in our code here and run this and give it the example UID. And now this will return our info. And now we're just going to pprint that. So for those who weren't able to catch up, what we've done is we've created a quick function that sends a get request, takes a UID, sends a get request to it um, in the proper format here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's as simple as that, I guess. Um, and then here we're just calling it with the pprint function. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and run this. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what that looks like here. Like so. So you can see from our last episode, we had the key checking. And then here, we've just got the outcome. Now the outcome might be a little confusing for those who aren't aware. So I'm gonna show you guys a easier to understand format of this. And to do that, I've got it opened in Firefox. So for those who don't know, Firefox is built in JSON format. You can also do this in Google Chrome if you get a extension or a plugin for it. So uh, the base level, we've got two attributes. We've got success is true. So this means that it properly uh, got a request through and gave the expected um, result. And this can be false. And if it is false, there's going to be a, a reason. All right. Uh, so just know there's going to be like an error code. So like invalid key or invalid play UID or something or whatever. We've got auctions here. We're going to open this up. Now I've got one auction currently available. This is a list. So you'll see there's index zero in the list. Uh, it'll give you the Mongo object ID of the, so this is just the, the ID of the database object that they have on Hypixel's end. There's the UUID of the auction, the UUID of uh, my account. Okay, so this is the system account UID, the profile ID for that account. Next up, we've got the co-op UID of that account. Okay, so it's all the same here. But if I was a co-op, some of these might be different. This is the Unix timestamp, I believe, including milliseconds. I'm not too sure. Um, for the start and end time. Okay, so this is the start time and the end time in Unix timestamp. I've got the item name. It's just a bucket. The item lords are just a common bucket. Uh, extra, extra. Uh, this is like extra info about it. It's a bucket bucket, which I assume if it was a water bucket, it'd be a water bucket or something. But it's just, it's a bucket bucket. So in this category, common tier, starting bit is four coins. But since it is a bin, that's actually, it's still going to be called starting bid. But since it's a bin, the starting bit is the only bit. Claimed false, which means uh, I haven't gotten it out yet. Uh, claimed bidders, so this is people who have... Um, I guess bid on it and claim the item. Uh, and then there's people who have bid on the item uh, and then high speed amount. So these are all, a lot of these will be very useful if I have a normal like bidding auction. This is a bin, so a lot of these are not very uh, telling for us. And here we've just got item data. So this is type zero. Uh, so this is metadata for the object, but just a normal bucket, so it's metadata zero. If you had wood blocks, depending on what type of plank or something it was, it, you'd have different metadata here. And then this is NBT data. Uh, we can maybe decrypt this in a different episode if you guys wish to see that. Uh, reminder, you can go ahead, check down the description. You'll find a link to my Discord where I can suggest what you guys want to see in this tutorial series in the future. And then uh, you can also, anytime you want, to go on the GitHub. There, you'll, there's also going to be a link down in the description for that uh, where you'll find the repository for this. And uh, you'll be able to see all of the code and copy paste. It's all open source, use as much as you want. Um, just don't use it in any commercial products, preferably, unless you're giving me credit. Um, but I don't, I don't expect anybody to be using this in commercial products. It's all open source code. Uh, anyways, that's been it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I've got nothing else for you guys. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see future episodes. Uh, that's been it. Peace.